Um, I suppose I started collecting when I was about 17, really. I mean, the first, you know, I didn't have a great deal of money. A few years ago, as I started putting a collection together, it occurred to me that no one was actually selling uh, older works focusing entirely on the male form. There was you know, dealers who specialise in 20th century modern British or um, old master pictures, but no one was actually curating a collection thematically on that particular topic. When I describe it, I describe it as my home gallery space, really, because it's not really a gallery, and, it's, and it, obviously we live here. I live here with my partner, who's sort of long-suffering and is always sort of wondering where pictures go and you know, me really hanging the space. But, um, it's, but it's also our home. It's where we live. We live with the pictures. And I think not only does that make it a, a quite a unique experience when people come around and look at the works but it very much informs what I buy because we've got to live with it. I mean I'm hoping I've identified a sort of gap in the market where people can come and they can you know come and have a coffee, they can look at the work, if they buy something great, if they don't it's not the end of the world. But also what I've created is a sort of gallery I would actually like to, to go to myself. What really surprised me was when I really started to have a bit of money and I was very busy, I didn't have time to go through all the auction houses and go to all the dealers and go to all the art shows. I wanted, you know, I was a really busy solicitor, I had probably a couple of hours, I wanted to go somewhere and go shopping. And I couldn't because there wasn't anywhere that actually sold stuff that I really liked. So that's really what I've done is, I, in a lot of respects, I've created the gallery for myself. And hopefully in doing that, other people will also like it. I couldn't do this without the internet. It's a mixture of my website, uh, social media, particularly Instagram. 50% um, of people that come to my exhibitions have found out about me by Instagram. But, you know, I post pictures on Instagram, people go to my website, they sign up for my mailing list, they get invited to private views and other events that I'm doing. They come and look at pictures. You know, 95% of people still want to physically look at a picture before they will part with their money. I mean, I think there are groups of people who... Uh, when you first start on Instagram, you, you, you pick a few key people and you follow their followers. And the reason for that is, is because actually there are groups of people who are interested in this work. And, you know, I have an exhibition and say a private few 150 people come. 75 people, maybe or even 100 people, not only will they follow me, they'll all follow each other because they're all interested in what everyone is posting. My idea of what a gallery is, is changing because in the old days it literally was, you know, you had a gallery space and you invited people to exhibitions and you stuck it in the post. With Instagram and social media is that you, you actually end up with a whole group of people who wouldn't necessarily go into a gallery. I mean, what I find that I'm selling to is a lot of people who have never really bought pictures before. Um, and because they get to know me a bit on Instagram first before they come to an exhibition, the whole, we forget that art galleries can be quite a daunting prospect for some people. Particularly, you know, if you go into an art gallery and there's no one in there, you know, are you going to be confident enough to walk around? But actually, if you've already spoken to me on Instagram and you walk in and say, oh, hi, I'm so-and-so, it sort of breaks the ice a bit. And um, you, you continue the conversation that you might have already had on social media. But also what I'm trying to do is really, in the same way that there is a community on Instagram, is trying to create a sort of physical community. I have talks um, by art historians, you know, and they're free. You don't have to buy a picture. You just come along, learn a bit about art. Um, and you get to meet other people. It becomes a very social thing. Great if you buy something, obviously I like that, but um, not the end of the world if you don't. I've turned my hobby really into a business. Um, I've collected and collected for, from, you know, as I said, since I was 17. Obviously the more money I had, uh, 
liked, the better pictures that I bought. Occasionally, very occasionally, I will come across something and I think, do you know what, I just want that. I will keep it. So, although um, I buy pictures to sell, um, I still only buy things that I really, really love. 